Hi, I'm Lucas. I'm a violin maker in Cremona, and today I'm going to be welcoming you to my computer instead, as I'm going to be showing you how to adjust an image to the right scale and isolate the outline of the instrument using AutoCAD. The first thing I'm going to do is obviously to open AutoCAD. Now I'm going to click Start Drawing. I have an image of a Ruggeri violin here in my desktop, which I'm going to drag to my AutoCAD, and it's going to ask me to specify an insertion point which can be anywhere. So I'm going to left click in there, left click again and again because I don't want to rotate the photo. And here I have already the image in my AutoCAD. Now I want to get the midpoint of this instrument. So I'm what I'm going to do is to click on line and get one of the extremes of the upper bout and get the maximum width of the upper bout. And click again. Then with escape I can stop making lines. Line again. And I'm going to repeat the same thing for the lower bout. What I'm going to do now is to click on line and AutoCAD is already going to alone find the midpoint of that, um, of that line. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to join it with the midpoint on the upper bout. Then I'm going to keep dragging the line. It says extension, so that's okay. And I have an extension of this line, which I'm going to click on and click here on this square and keep extending it. Keep going with the extension. And now I want to take it right to the point where it would be the maximum length. Now I'm going to do the same here. Keep going with the extension. I usually stop it because sometimes it, uh, I lose it. Got the extension um, gets lost, so I prefer stopping it before and then keep extending it. Again, extending that one. Okay, and now that I have the extension the way I want, I'm going to type scale, enter, and it's going to ask me to select all the objects, so I'm going to click all of them, enter again, specify base point, this is where the image will be once I scale it, so I'm going to click this angle here. Then it's going to ask me to specify a scale factor copy or reference. I'm going to write an R and enter because I want a reference because this length would be my new reference. So now I'm going to click on this point here and I'm going to click on this one. And it's going to ask me to specify a new length. So I'm going to assume that the length of this pack is going to be 355 millimeters. So I'm going to click enter, and here I have the image. Sometimes when the image gets printed, things like, like this are very difficult to notice. 
if it's all parts of the back or if it's not. So it can be useful to just draw the outline and start working with the outline. So what I'm going to do is to click on polyline and start making a lot of dots all around the outline of the instrument. Usually the more I make, the more precise it's going to be. And obviously the longest it's going to take me. And I'm going to stop it here as I like making the edges with a different one. Now I'm going to select this line with a left click and now I'm going to make a right click goes to where it says polyline and then spline fit. And this is going to be making the, uh, the line curved. From here I can start adjusting it Now I'm going to do the exact same thing here. I'll probably use a bit more of dots in this case. left click, polyline, spline fit. Only let it can. And again, these are the areas where this comes more useful.
For example, I can already see that I made a mistake there. This is something I might have not noticed if this was printed. I'm to be making the line again. For example, this could be useful as well if I have a broken border which I want to change a bit the shape to make it rounder.
OK. Now what I can also do, for example, is to copy everything. I'm going to put it here. And I could erase a photo, erase all these lines. I'm going to trace one from the beginning to the end. And then what I can do is select all this as well. There's a function here which is mirror. So I'm going to click here. And then uh, 90 degrees. Another click and it's going to ask me if I want to erase the source which I'm going to click no. And now I can even have the outline, a symmetrical outline on both sides. Now I'm going to go to print. I'm going to print it as a PDF. Paper size A3, not fit to paper. I to, have to click here and put one to one scale in millimeters. What to plot display? I'm going to click window. I'm going to click there. I can see here it shows me that it's still too big. So if I wanted the preview, I can see that it doesn't fit there. So again, I'm going to click window. I'm going to start reducing this. Center the plot as well. Forgot about that. And now here it is. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to save it on my desktop as PDF. So here we have the drawing of my Rogeti model. And if I wanted to print it, which is most likely what I would do, is to go file print. Then as you can see here it doesn't fit on the paper because it's this this is 210 per 2297. So we'll go to properties, pages. I'm going to uh, change this to an A3, the, the page size. And then the most important thing is this one, scale. It has to say none or the real scale, one to one proportion because by default most programs say uh, to reduce the, the drawing so it fits on the page. Uh, this way it adds some margin and for some files it might look nice but it's not what we're looking for. So yeah, here, here my printer is that I have selected now, it's just to create another PDF. So I'm not going to print but if this was a printer this is what I would have to do. So that's it. This will be the whole process on how to scale and draw the outline of the instrument.